Maya cannot comfort me. So he asks Krishna, oh, what is this going on? And Krishna began to laugh and told that Brahma wanted to see my any sweet past times. And also I have desired to be the son of gopis and as a cough to cows. And at that time I also want to do some miracle like this that Garga Charge told that this year is very auspicious. All father and mother, they should marry their daughter and sons in this year. They married, even those who were in home, they promised that if my will be that daughter and your son, then it will be married. Thus all Prajabhasis, they married their daughters and sons, but who was, who was that time, all forms, all gopes were Krishna. So, in any way, all the gopis are married to Krishna, but Jogamaya is miracle. Especially Nand and Jasoda, Vishabhanu and Kritika, they wanted that my daughter should be married to the Nanda, Nanda. Because there is no one even more beautiful and qualified than Krishna. But Yoga Maya saw that Krishna, its desire will not be fulfilled. In marriage, a wife becomes like serpent, controlled by husband. So, Jogmaya quickly, she changed the mind and if they will marry Srivati Radhika to Krishna, there may be something, uh, some problems. So better, very good family and very qualified is Abhimanyu, daughter of a son of Gol Gop or Jatina. So, give marriage. And that marriage was done by what? Shadow of Radhika, not actually by Radhika. Yogamaya did it, said. They thought, oh, I am husband of this. But never they were. Especially he was Napunsa, became Napunsa. Napunsa. <laughs> so, like this, all the gopis were married to Javad, Lalita, Vishakha, and all others were. So, Jogmaya did it. And she, um, Vishwabhanu could not marry, marry to her daughter, to Krishna. In this way, that beloved, most beloved, no, no marriage. This is Parthiya. In Srimad Bhagavat, everywhere, Pati Sutan Vaya, Bhratri Bandhaman, Atipi Langhate, Ant Achyutagata, Kati Vidas Tabod, Geet Mohita, Itavajosita, Master Sandishi. Everywhere. It has been told. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, Krishna himself, hmm? by taking the beauty and insisted mode of Krishna as a Maharadhika, and he came as a Sachinandan, and he declared hmm, this Upapati mode is highest, hmm, highest. By this, Ban comes. Like Rukmini and Satabhama, they cannot satisfy Krishna. Never. They are like Rashis. But gopis, 
Krishna can tell Satabhama that, oh, I will take out you from my kingdom. Alas, he told once in New Vrindavan. But can he say to Radhika, he did not take me from Krishna, no cloth, no ornament, nothing supported by Krishna, Radhika. But Krishna is controlled by his love and affection. And that is why he has told, Napare ham niravadya sanjuja. Also, Uthav has told, I want to be a plague of cross to take the lotus dust of office. Bande nanda prajay strinam padarenum abhiknasa jasam hari kothod vid punat bhuana. Gaur pramanande. Calvert Boy expansions of Rajendranand and Sham Sundar as forearmed forms of Narayan. Or to show that Brahma always worships Narayan. Four handed. So to make him sure that I am still. But after that, he became like a cow herdboy. And that, then Brahma realized, really Krishna is Supreme Lord, Brahma is Vaibhava Prakasha. What did the Calvert Boys say for one year? Oh, Brahma cannot. Sit down. Sit down. Brahma cannot move uh, for voice. He cannot do. But Krishna desire Jog Maya to teach, actually. Huh? What was the question? Ah, so when so, not by Brahma Maya, but by Jog Maya, they slept. Also, birds, they also, not cows, cows, cough, they also slept. And when Brahma returned and Krishna gave him darshan, after that, again, Krishna, by Yoga Maya, took his Maya and they all thought that, oh, we are sleep, sleeping. Oh, just now, where is Krishna? And then they saw that Krishna is searching, oh, Subal, oh, Siddham, where you are? Oh, oh by the yoga? by the mercy of Yoga Maya. <laughs> what? You must have it. Hare Krishna. Uh, I've got an announcement that will take a couple of minutes uh, to uh, describe to you, so please uh, listen up. All of us here have had the experience of Badger, I believe, almost everyone, except Nandi Maharaj. So we have to get him here, there next year. Um, 500 devotees, 11 festivals, and some of the most ex exquisite, extraordinary Harikata and devotee association that we've ever experienced. Memorable. Shiva Gurudev has himself commented that New Braj is indeed a Tirta as a result. He's installed uh, Giriraj there, Radhakund, Shamakund. Every year we're doing uh, Puja of Govardhan. What? Anakund. So many things. And I'm sure that you all, all of you who have experienced it, 
feel when you're there and having the experience with Srila Gurudev that you're in New Brudge, that you're in Brudge, that you're in the spiritual world. We've heard when Srila Gurudev look at the mountains uh, in New Brudge and say, oh, I am seeing Govardhan. So, where am I going with this? Srila Gurudev has often commented that he, his desire is that we preserve New Brudge as a Tirtha, as a holy place. And up until now, our Sangha has put a lot of energy, and thank you very much for all your energy and all your contributions, into India, into the holy places of India. Now, somehow or another, some magical thing is happening, and by a strange twist of fate, Nirguna Prabhu has to divest himself, meaning sell his property. And there's this interesting coincidence that we also at the at New Badger, uh, New Braja rather, we have the Gurukula school, and everyone knows the sacrifices the teachers have been making there, working for nothing, doing real seva, helping future generations of Vaishnavas, and they've been doing it sometimes living like refugees in a little tiny house with substandard conditions, but still turning out amazing young Vaishnavas that are going out into the world, the next generation of Vaishnavas that will help spread this Krishna consciousness movement. So now that Nirguna has to sell the property, it gives us a chance to make a commitment as a Sangha to, in one sense, the first holy place in the West for us. It is a Tirtha, it's a very special place, we know it's Srila Gurudev's desire that somehow we preserve it. And as such, as a, as a Sangha, the Bhakti Yoga Society, which is the name of our Sangha, in case anyone doesn't know what the name of our Sangha is, the Bhakti Yoga Society. Okay, Haribo. <laughs> uh, we've made a commitment to acquire by somehow, some miracle, the New Brudge uh, uh, location. That's the one. That's a, there's only one. Thanks for the wisecrack, but that's the only one. <laughs> We're going to stick with that one. Um, so the, the, the society has made a commitment to get financing to acquire the property. Uh, it's about $600,000 to acquire the property. It means the two houses and the land adjacent to it and we will use the property first and foremost as a residential uh, facility and accommodation and schooling place for the uh, New Brudge School. We hope to expand on it eventually, but that's the main purpose. So we've got financing in place, but we still need to acquire a certain amount of money for the down payment. So uh, the good news is that we already have a number of very generous donations uh, from well-heeled people, well-heeled devotees. We've already collected $85,000 as a down payment for the New Brush School. Uh, some of us have a little money, some of us, few of us have some money, uh, a lot of money. Uh, I have no money. Uh, but a few of us who have money have made the following offering to you all. Anyone who's willing to make a significant donation, and the donation that they've suggested is $25,000, gulp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, it goes down a little bit difficult, but that's what they've suggested. If any of us here or any other devotees anywhere are able to make that kind of donation, they in turn will match your donation. So that's a pretty nice offer. So in other words, you double your money in terms of a contribution to Srila Gurudev. Uh, I'll talk to them about it. Um, they've, also, they've also suggested that if somebody gives 10,000, but uh, I guess they're starting high and working their way down. Uh, but I'm sure that if anyone comes up with a halfway decent donation in that kind of very large amount, uh, then they will probably match it. 
So I won't bore you with the details. We have other things to get on with uh, tonight. I'll summarize it by saying that the New Brudge School, the New Brudge location is a Tirta. It's our chance to, for once, build a place for our Sangha in the West. And I hope that you'll all agree with me that it's a worthy project. We're going to ask everyone to kind of spread the word. And if you can, please make a donation so that we can make the purchase of the property uh, by the time of Gorpranim or shortly thereafter. And then I know that you'll all be very pleased to know that Prajendra Nandan and his wife Gopanandini and all the kids will then go into that property. Nirguna has promised to stay around in the and maintain all those nice stone walls that he's built and all that great uh, landscaping and everything. So he's not leaving, he's going to stay as part of the project, so you will be giving to something that will be nicely maintained uh, for the future and we'll be able to use it for seminars and workshops and retreats and also that very important annual once a year festival that we have in the West. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. If you, if you want more information about uh, the project, uh, uh, Vishram Bar Prabhu has a bunch of uh, material you can pick up at the book table. Thank you.